Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch both said Russian forces appear to have used widely banned cluster munitions in Ukraine. Ukraine's ambassador to the United States, Oksana Makarova, on Monday also accused Russia of using cluster bombs and vacuum bombs in its invasion of her country. Russia calls its action there a special operation. And they are shooting us with missiles, ballistic missiles. Uh, they use the uh, vacuum bomb today, which is actually prohibited by Geneva Con Convention. So, you know, the devastation that Russia is trying to inflict on Ukraine is, is large, but we Ukrainians will resist. We're a vacuum bomb or thermobaric weapon sucks in oxygen to generate a high temperature explosion. It typically produces a longer blast wave than that of a conventional explosive and can vaporize human bodies. Amnesty International said international humanitarian law prohibits the use of indiscriminate weapons and that launching these attacks that kill or injure civilians constitutes a war crime. John Spencer is the chair of urban warfare studies with the Modern War Institute. This is getting ready to get very violent, as you've seen, and we've seen like the, the, the multi-launch rocket system starting to be used. The artillery is going to increase. The bombing is going to increase. The military and the civilians need to get into a defensive posture. Uh, and, and that takes some planning, like what buildings to use, uh, what buildings what roads to leave open, what to completely seal off. There's a lot to be done. And the more, you know, we say this, if you're into defense, you never stop preparing 24 hours a day. Um, make it, make it hell. There has been no official confirmation that thermobaric weapons have been used in the conflict in Ukraine. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said she had seen reports but did not have confirmation that Russia had used such weapons. The Russian embassy in Washington did not respond to requests for comment.